So last year we formed two groups, one group from the Random Mechanical Engineering Program and the other group also from the Automobile Engineering Program were tasked to develop a e mobility vehicle. Fortunately for us, they were able to produce this vehicle and then they were able to defend on Monday, which was the 28th August 2023. This project was supervised by Dr. Godwin Ayeto. He is now with me as of now. So I will then only hand over to him to give us the details about how the project was done. My name is Dr. Godwin Kafri Ayeto, a senior lecturer at the Mechanical Engineering Department of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Uh, this project you see here is a battery electric vehicle designed by undergraduate students of the Mechanical and Automobile Engineering Program. Um, it's a culmination of about three years of work on e-mobility. Um, KNUST already leads a number of the sustainable development goals. All the seven SDGs have relation to transport. And one of the targets of the university is to go green. We have already done a lot of work in terms of uh, policy, helping the Ghana Energy Commission, Ghana Standard Authority, to develop baseline studies on electric vehicles. Uh, the next agenda is to encourage the production and manufacturing uh, capability for e-mobility. So about three years ago, we started with conversion of internal combustion engines into battery electric vehicles. We started with a quad bike, uh, which was very successful. We've also designed and built an electric wheelchair for disabled people. So this, we are in our third year now, and this time we decided to build a battery electric vehicle for off-road uh, purposes. All the chassis, powertrain, and everything was designed and built by the student. Uh, in our mechanical engineering programs, we have courses for electric mobility, uh, both design and the technology. And the students you see here who built this uh, have gone through all those programs. During their final year project, they told me they wanted to build an electric car, what they have been hearing of. And they were given the support by KNUS uh, to build this electric vehicle which has no engine, powered by just a battery and then a motor. Uh, goes about 60 kilometers on a single charge. And it's able to, uh, it has a velocity from 30 to about 40 kilometers per hour. The next target is to be able to build uh, a bigger version of this, this time with a more structured chassis. And uh, we are open to having support from uh, donor agencies or funding agencies uh, to help us. The advantages of this is that because it has no internal combustion engines, there's no need for fuel, there's no need for oil, there's no need uh, uh, for water. It helps reduce emissions, and Ghana also has a target of reducing emissions in the national determined contributions, uh, even in the emission target. Ghana has said it will go uh, to electric vehicles in 2040 and by 2070 they want all mobilities for rail and road to be electric so this is our contribution uh, uh, to that uh, agenda and like i said we are also trying to build a manufacturing and production capacity so that most of if not all the items can be built uh, in this country so we welcome uh, uh, support from the public uh, in terms of funding and technical support to help us uh, build all sorts of vehicles into electric vehicles. Thank you very much. My name is Joshua Poisowa, and I'm here with my friend Joshua Dubeno. And we are the group leaders of this group, comprised of 14 engineering students. 
mainly of automobile and mechanical engineering. In embarking on this project, we as a group came together. We decided to focus on building an electric vehicle. We took it as a challenge. We knew that it was something new, something that would boost our experience and then let us uh, gain a lot of knowledge. And so we, uh, we divided the project into two parts, mainly the chassis and the, the uh, powertrain. And we made one group uh, focus on the powertrain and on the electric vehicle. We came together as a group, went to the lab, and we decided how we embark on this project. We had a joyous time working together. We learned a lot of things. Being mechanical engineering students and not knowing that much of auto, we had them teach me some of the things they know, and then we also taught them some of the things we know. And then together, we were able to make this project become what it is to be. Even though we had a joyous time embarking on this project, we faced some challenges. One mainly being the cost, because we had to use our own resources to come together to build the project. Also, another challenge was the steering system, because we were not getting the right bar we needed. And so because of that, we had to change a lot of drawings, the solid models, and even doing the frame itself was a challenge. We had scheduled one week for the project, for that particular part of the project, but we ended up using three weeks. The suspension too was a problem being it that we couldn't get the right material or sometimes it were too costly for us to afford. But in the end, we made all work together and then what we see today is the project we built. So first of all, we want to thank God Almighty for taking us through this project and seeing it through successfully. And then we want to thank the provost of the College of Engineering, Professor Nyako. We also want to thank our head of department of mechanical engineering, Professor Andor, and our supervisor, Dr. Godwin Ayeto. They've all been a source of encouragement and help to us. They saw us through, they supported us. I mean, when we had challenges, they were always there for us. So, and we also want to thank the technicians. Master Bentum helped us with the welding and a lot of things that we needed. And my lovely group members. I mean, everybody contributed energy, time, money, effort, you know. So yeah, we want to just thank and let everybody know that we are grateful to them. We appreciate them. Thank you.